Hey, what's up guys? Paolo here. So welcome to my channel where I make how-to videos from Mac tips, backend stuff, Swift, Salesforce, and game development. On this video, we're going to learn how to package your Unreal Engine app for distribution to the Apple App Store. This video is building up on top of the knowledge for packaging your app for testing on your iOS device. So if you haven't watched that video, I suggest you pause the video, check out the info card above, and then check that out and then you could come back here and then we could continue with uh, packaging your app for distribution so on this video we're going to cover the distribution certificate the distribution provisioning profile changes needed in your project settings in uh, unreal engine 5 uh, creating an app in the app store connect and uh, submitting your file or project uh, using uh, transporter Let's go. So first off, start by going to developer.apple.com, log into your account, and then go under certificate identifiers and profiles. Under here, under certificates, you can see I already have an iOS distribution created. I'm gonna try to recreate it for you so you would see what I selected in there. So first click on this plus icon there and under software instead of choosing development you could choose apple distribution or you could choose ios distribution so go ahead choose uh, ios distribution click continue this is the part where you would need to generate a certificate signing request so you could do this using keychain access once you have uh, the csr signing request Upload the CSR file here and then when you hit continue, you'll be able to download the certificate. So if I go here, I should be able to download that certificate on my machine. Once it's downloaded, uh, just install the certificate by double clicking on it and it should install in your uh, certificate section. Cool. The next step is uh, your identifier so you should create an identifier for your app uh, if you did the uh, video for testing on your app so I already created a demo app here which is basically just a reverse domain uh, give it a description and then the bundle ID is the reverse domain and then the important bit is the profile so under profile you would need to create type which is for app store distribution so i already have one here so i'll just recreate it for you so click on the plus icon there there's two sections here uh one's for development one's for distribution you want to go for distribution select app store it says there great distribution provisioning profile to submit your app to the app store so when you click on continue here it will ask you to select the app ID or the bundle ID that you created under um, identifiers and from here select uh, apps here when you click continue it would ask for the certificate so select the distribution certificate click continue give it a name just say demo I'm not gonna save this when you click on generate it would ask you to uh, download that provisioning profile so if i open this you would see uh there's a download section here so download that to your machine and we'll use that later for unreal engine so the next step go to app store connect that apple.com sign in with your account and under that click on the plus icon uh, the my apps uh, icon here and then i already created my app for myself here but go to the details of the app um, basically you add the bundle ID again for the app and then give it a skew and that should be it so if I go back to apps here quickly show you what that looks like select new app select platform as iOS give it a name um, give it a la primary language and under bundle ID here you should see your uh, app that you just configured so I already have that so it's not showing on this list anymore then give it a SKU uh, choose full access then cancel so now that we have an app here the next step is to actually go to Unreal Engine so we'll open up Unreal Engine so I already have Unreal Engine open here uh, I have a project in here uh, first is you want to go to project settings 
when that is open go under ios there's a few areas here that you would need to change so this section would start reading uh, any provisioning profiles on your machine so if you don't see the provisioning profile that you have click on import and then import the provisioning profile that you just downloaded from uh, here so import the provisioning profile and that should show up in the list here in the provision profile section here for the certificates the certificate that you installed on your keychain access should appear here so just select the one that is for distribution so i selected that one and then under here fill in the normal details the bundle uh, bundle display name and then bundle identifier which is important the reverse domain and then at the section down here um, make sure you're selecting minimum ios version as ios 15 that's important and also make sure that automatic signing here is disabled there's no ios id in here all the rest you could configure as you please uh, and then going up further up under project under packaging you want to change your setting to change from project section from build configuration change it from development to shipping and then under this section select for distribution and pretty much that's it so now um, let me just quickly show you what this project template is so that's the project template under the platforms menu drop down menu select ios make sure for the binary configuration you select shipping and under con content management select package project so first time you do this this would take a while so click on open uh, that would start packaging the project and save it on that directory yeah so first time you do this this would take a while if you see some errors here about um, missing certificate or cannot find private key for that uh, certificate make sure you're selected the right certificate from the project settings and you have the right uh, provisioning profile well this is packaging you want to go to app store and search for transporter and download the transporter app so this would allow us to upload our or submit our project to the apple app store so if i open the transporter this is what you'd see i have tried submitting through the app store using a different build uh, which i'll talk about later in case you run into this issue so basically this issue is saying that the app was built using ios 14 all ios apps submitted to the app store must be built with ios 15 sdk or later so if you ran into the issue i have a solution uh, just in case now let's go back to here so hopefully no errors and so if you prompts for the code sign just enter your system admin password Cool. there you go so I have a packaging complete uh, message now if I open up transporter if you haven't signed in yet um, you just need to sign in basically and then click on this plus icon here select the folder uh, for the IPA file that got created by Unreal Engine select that click on open it would try to validate the file first that it's, uh, there's no problem and now it's time to upload it to the Apple App Store. So it didn't throw any errors. It's now trying to upload. Now continue the recording uh, once the upload is complete. The upload is complete. It has been delivered to the App App Store. Now open up your browser, go to App Store, open the app and go under test flight. So right now it's still processing. So I'll continue the recording when the status change. So it does take a while for it to change status. So it's now ready to submit. 
So what you could do at this stage is you could add internal testers. So you could create a group, say uh, beta testers. And then you could add testers uh, to that group. So I could add myself. So what would happen is I'll get an email from Apple asking me that a new version of the app is available for me to beta test. So I could just uh, download and install the app and it would expire within 90 days. So that should give you enough time to let your testers test the app and then report any uh, crashes to you. You could collect some stats for that. And then once you're ready, you should uh, then submit your app. So a lot of details to fill out for submitting your app, which I'll cover in a different tutorial. So I guess that's it for now. I uh, hope you like this video. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cheers. Bye for now.